by the application developer we are going to issues now so to solve this issue due to the above problem script fails when the data is changing dynamically so ways to solve one can configure the data into single sheet by having all the combinations 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 so total 90 rows created in single sheet this is one way of solving it right second apply conditional statement statement to the script and ensure if the same combination appears then skip that iteration this I like you to do I want you to do this as an exercise apply the conditional statement to the script and ensure if the same combination appears skip the iteration right so how to do it I want you to say so this is the two ways that is coming to our perception Anything else, if you have, put it into the paper. First, come up with all the possible solutions and then we decide which is the best solution. Next is, what if we select row number instead of content identification instead of content I identify what if if I select the row number from the list box row number from the list box is it possible so first is we need to know first thing to achieve this is to achieve this we need to understand how QTP recognizes list content what are all the ways QTP recognizes the list content so as I record I have noticed now when I recorded initially I have noticed now the list box is appeared with Frankfurt that is what I have noticed I am commenting this data table so initially I have recognized as right I recognized like this this is how my initial script was so default QTP recognizes with right QTP recognizes with by default QTP recognizes with list name content QTP also recognizes this list with row identity. So when I say row identity, I again command this Denver. If I put it as a 0 here, select 0, I command the Frankfurt here, put it at 1. So 0 means the first row of that entity is selected. I will put instead of 1 here, I will put 0 as well here. So select 0 select 0 now I am doing now since I am in the problem solving mode I don't want to iterate all the iteration all the iterations I want to make it as one iteration now since I am in the problem solving mode I go to the action call properties run only one iteration because I don't want to iterate through since I am I am in the problem solving mode 
files i am also changing the global settings run i make it to run one iteration apply i say okay now i run the script now if i run the script let us see how it runs is he able to select that object or not that is the first thing that we need to understand is he able to select that object or not now he is typing the date he is selecting now fly from as denver he is now selecting fly to as frankfurt he is able to select now even if i use 0 and 1 or 0 0 so 0 means the first row of that list so this is also possible so instead of denver now if i am able to replace it with 0 1 2 3 my problem is solved so then i can able to select it so then easy to now replace global sheet i remove all the content i remove all the content i say yes now apply 0 1 2 3 here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so there are 10 rows starting with the 0 so it is 9 here i'll just say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 only 9 rows so generally what we do is we remove it like this if i remove it like this as i said earlier the 10th row will try to pass an empty value because the line is set row loop is set so we don't want the 10th row to pass a empty value so i ensure that it has been removed removed from this list then i configure now i now configure it here i configure it my data sheet i configure it now so select data table dt fly from global sheet so now we have replaced entire content into numeric so we think that it this will work this is what our next understand when i run the script again just watch now as i run the script now we assume that the script will work when i do it now again now we have not gone into any advanced concept even at this stage you can see that there are a lot of finer points that we need to understand in automation what we think easy is no longer an easy one now it is again says cannot identify the specified item of fly from object confirm that the specified item is included in the object item so even though we passed and even though we manually checked we found that the script is working but when i am trying to parameterize from the data table the same script is failing because what qtp is now trying to find out is is trying to find out like this it is not like this so what we have used is zero that means it is index but Now, when it is coming from the data table what is trying to see is zero within quotes because we cannot say the list box itself cannot have a zero please be careful or try to apply your concentration when we when the data is coming from data table that even though the data table has an integer or a numeric when the value is passed inside the script it is treated when you are passing the value through data table command it is treated as a literal literal means within quotes zero when you are trying to run the script now with zero here i just run the script this is what he is trying to do and not with integer zero qtp knows if it is an integer zero 
then he understands that he has to now select it right now he's trying to select now you can see the error message appearing now on the screen he is now treating that zero is not an integer zero it is a string zero if it is integer zero QTP understands that he has to recognize with index whereas when he is not treating it as a integer zero he is taking it as literal zero literal zero means it is taking it as value of the zero in the list box so what we now try to do then okay I need to solve this issue so to do this I just convert this as an integer it is again a VB command I am converting that the data that I am passing here I want to convert it as an integer I want to tell QTP the data that I am passing is no longer a string I, I want him to treat this as an integer so I am converting the data into an integer so since the value is in numeric I am treat a QTP is able to treat this guy as an integer now again I am running it with only one iteration run the script you can now see that he is able to manage that script so that is why recording is so simple but bringing it to your use is always challenging you need to lot of finer things you need to understand we cannot take it granted now you are able to see that the value is coming from data table even though it is coming from data table he is able to manage it with that selection so when you practice you practice it for all iterations Right now, I'll continue to go with my next problem because my problem is still not solved. I want to ensure now the minimum four flights are available.